Hi, my name's Mike Hamilton. I work for the My Group of Companies. Our group of organisations has been around for 10 plus years, predominantly working with NHS, health and social care and private organisations to support dementia, mental health issues and learning difficulties. And we're extremely excited to introduce assistive living monitoring. ALM is incredibly unique. It is the first solution out there on the market that interweaves a significant amount of capability. What you will find globally is much of the content in here exists independently. So we have wearables, we have sensors, but what you don't have is all of it put holistically together. And it's all available by this touch screen. My name's Tim Lees and I'm one of the managers of My Quality of Life. In terms of the technology, rather than having invasive CCTV, microphones, listening to conversation, this allows you to have a picture of everything that's going on inside. First thing you see is sound levels, and this is actually measured in decibels. The idea is each staff member has a PDA monitor. That PDA monitor will be triggered if sound levels go over a certain amount of decibels. The second stage implements what we call thermographic and microwave technology. How it works is the different sensors that are placed around the room at different heights, and that will then measure whether it's from the ceiling or low down, that will measure the activity inside the room. Now again, rather than using CCTV invasive pictures that you can see inside, what you see is a thermographic image. These are the thermographic and microwave sensors. So these are what gets placed at various points around the room on the walls. This is the way that we track the heat maps inside the room. So these will get placed on a wall, for example, and then if somebody falls below that, that will then show that on the screens in the staff room. So this is what we call a PDA monitor. Each staff member in a particular residence has one of these each. If we have an issue in a, in a room, for example, this will then throw up straight away if I'm out and about or if I'm in a different room or if I'm getting the washing out, I'll get a notification straight away on this. So if I tap inside this now, Ryland's Crescent, this will that now tell us resident out, resident in. So somebody's just left this apartment and that's a live system that gets sent to every staff member. This is the new wearable that we're using at the moment. It's a brand new design, very lightweight, very similar to a watch. This on the back is a data pad and this feeds back straight to the monitor on all the data. So you'll get the oxygen saturation, the blood pressure and the heart rate. So the second wearable, this is a brand new type of technology that we haven't used before and it has three different functions on it. The first function is communication in terms of the residents being able to speak to a staff member. So they would just tap on this and then that will communicate like a walkie talkie or a microphone would, but only internally on site. The second function it gets programmed to speak to one particular family member, one particular individual, one friend, etc. Again, the staff decide which that is. And then the last one is an SOS button. As soon as they click the SOS button, that will be an alert to staff for if they're in danger or they need help. And that will trigger the alarm system in the staff room and it'll also trigger the PDA that staff carry as well. So the final bit of technology that we offer is based on two different areas. It's sensory and projection. So this is a combination of a sensory light and the microphone. The microphone is here. This feeds straight back from the audio point of view and measures the decibels in the room. On the outside of this, this is the strip light. So this lights up to whatever core the resident wants. This is the sensory tablet. It's split up into six different sections. So for example, if we go into show me where, so if, if they're non-verbal and not able to communicate, the hospital's designed this with us to allow them to be able to communicate. So for example, I've got a headache. Now this can either be used independently, where the service user will just use it in hand, or it can be projected onto the walls or the ceiling anywhere. They go inside relaxation. This then creates a sensory room. Now they have thousands of different combinations of both visual to then mix and match with audio. Oculus Real Estate is uh, focused on delivering uh, top quality homes for life for vulnerable individuals. Uh, but increasingly, uh, when we started on our journey, we, we, we realised it wasn't just about the bricks and the mortar. Specialist is really important for these group of people. Uh, an important part of that is assistive technology. We are so thrilled at MyQual to be uh, collaborating with you. This partnership is going to be fantastic. You've set the standard, you've set the bar. You wanted something that wasn't currently available and we've made it happen for you. The breadth of the technology that we offer is a world's first and we've done that with your support. So thank you very much.
and we look forward to working together in the future.